Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It's got a whole bunch of stuff going on and it's asking for the area of this blue triangle. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. So first let's look at this square right here. This side is equal to four, so this side right here is also equal to four. Next, I want to look at this rhombus right here. Let's verify that it's a square. We know that if this is a right angle, this is also a right angle. In a rhombus, opposite angles are congruent, so these two would be congruent, and these two would also be congruent. So we know that this rhombus is a square. And then I want to focus on this triangle. This is a right triangle, so we know that we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared is going to equal c squared. And these two are equal to each other, so let's call them both x. So we can say x squared plus x squared is equal to 4 squared x squared plus x squared is equal to 2x squared, and 4 squared is equal to 16. After we divide both sides by 2, we get x squared is equal to 8. And after we square root both sides, we get x is equal to the square root of 8. So let's update both of these x's to square root of 8. Next, let's go back to this square right here. We know these two sides are 4. This side is also equal to 4. And now let's look at this right angle again. This diagonal is going to bisect that right angle. So both of these will be 45 degrees. And then in this square, we also have a right angle. And if this is 45, that means this last angle must also be 45 degrees. So we have each of these angles equal to 45 degrees. If we focus on this triangle, we can figure out this obtuse angle is equal to the sum of these three, which is 135 degrees. And now since this is an obtuse triangle, we have to use the law of cosines. So if we call the sides a, b, and c, and this angle theta, the law of cosines tells us c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a times b cosine of that angle theta. So we're going to use this to solve this side c. So let's give ourselves some room, and a is equal to the square root of 8. So in the place of each of these a's, we'll plug in square root of 8. And then b is equal to 4, so in the place of these b's, we'll plug in 4. And then theta is equal to 135 degrees. Square root of 8 squared is equal to 8 plus 4 squared is equal to 16. And then we're going to subtract all this. 2 times 4 is equal to 8, and then we still have the square root of 8. And to get cosine of 135, we can look at the unit circle to get negative root 2 over 2. And then 8 plus 16 is equal to 24. And then this negative times this negative will give us a positive. And all this is going to be a fraction. We can copy down the 8. Root 8 times root 2 will give us root 16. And this 2 will still be in the denominator. This root 16 is equal to 4. 8 times 4 is equal to 32, and 32 divided by 2 is 16. 24 plus 16 is equal to 40. And after we square root both sides, we get c is equal to the square root of 40. So we can update this side length c to be square root of 40. And now let's focus on this square right here. Since this side is square root of 40, this side will also be square root of 40. And then we're ready to focus on this right triangle. And because it's a right triangle, we can do Pythagorean theorem. We'll assign a, b, and c to the sides. c is equal to the square root of 40, so we can plug in square root of 40 here. And then b is equal to square root of 8, so we'll plug in square root of 8. And then we'll just copy down the a squared. The square root of 40 squared is 40. And then square root of 8 squared is equal to 8. And then let's copy down the a squared. And then we can subtract 8 from both sides, and we get a squared is equal to 32. And then after we square root both sides, we get a is equal to square root of 32. So we can update this side a to be square root of 32. And now since we have these two sides, we're ready to find the area of this triangle. The area is equal to 1 half base times height, where the base is the square root of 32 and the height is the square root of 8. We can combine the square root of 32 and the square root of 8, so we end up with the square root of 256. And then the square root of 256 is 16, and 1 half of 16 is 8. We'll give it a label of centimeter squared, and that is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. The area of this blue triangle is 8 centimeters squared. How exciting.